Hey, it's Stefan with Claire Online Video, and welcome to this tutorial on using the Remix feature in Adobe Audition Creative Cloud 2015. For those of you who haven't experimented with Adobe Audition, this tutorial will spotlight one of the many powerful features this program offers. Audition is an audio program that ships with the Creative Cloud suite, and it works amazingly well with Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to demonstrate the Remix feature, which allows you to shorten the length of a music track to match the duration of your video edit. I think we've all been in that situation where we needed to shorten a piece of music to match our video, but for whatever reason, we can't quite get it to sound right. Even if you're an expert with music composition, this feature can save you loads of time when you're in a hurry. The first thing you'll want to do is to make sure that you have the most recent update of Adobe Audition in order to use this feature. Starting in Premiere, I've got some footage assembled in a timeline. I also have this music track on Audio One, and as you can see, it's quite a bit longer than my video edit. In order to send this project off to Audition, we'll navigate to Edit in the Toolbar, and then Edit in Adobe Audition, and then select Sequence. In the pop-up window here, you'll want to make sure that you're saving your work to the same location as the rest of your project files. The default setting enabled is to use Adobe Dynamic Link to send your video through to Audition. I recommend keeping this on so that you can see how your video matches up with the remixed music in Audition. Once you press OK, your project will launch in Adobe Audition. Now your version of the software might look a little different than mine, but Audition works the same way as the rest of the Adobe programs where you can rearrange panels and windows within the application. The main panels we want to see for this tutorial are the editor, the video, and properties. So now we can see our music track in the editor. Go ahead and select the track, then navigate over to the properties panel and make sure the remix option is enabled under the remix dropdown. Audition will now process the audio and will open up some further options for us. This is where we can begin to edit our music to match the length of our video. Starting with the target duration, here we can actually enter a length of time and Audition will automatically try to edit and match the duration we enter within a range of 5 seconds. If we zoom into our timeline, you can see these squiggly lines, which indicate the edits that Audition has made to the music track. Right away you can see how useful this is and how quickly this feature worked. It literally took me a few seconds to edit this, and Audition's analyzing of the music is really amazing. Down in the Advanced section, you can customize the music even more. You can enable the Stretch to Exact Duration option, which will edit down your music to match up exactly with your video. This will adjust the tempo of the music, which might not be desired. There are some additional options in the Stretch drop-down menu if you want to use that option. We'll disable this for now. The Edit Length slider will increase or decrease the fades and edits that Audition has made. The Feature slider gives you even more control of how you want some of the instruments in your audio track to sound. I recommend adjusting these and then previewing your audio to find the best mix for your project. This is a push and pull effect, but the results are pretty cool and it's really a huge time saver when you need music in a hurry. Give it a try in your next edit. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.